Hello, hello, and happy Sunday. This video is going up early for some of you all, and it could be already Sunday in some places. First and foremost, Leos, I'm talking to my Leos. First and foremost, thank you guys for telling me that the, the sound was a little low in the last video. It was on, I was using a different camera. Also, if I upload the videos and you can you can see my hands moving and but can't hear my voice, a lot of times that's YouTube still processing the video. So just letting people know in advance. I don't want to have to repeat that every video. So if you're if you're a subscriber or you're you know a tribe and you come back regularly, if that ever happens, even if you tune into if you're cross watching another video, let's say you're looking at your moon rising Venus and the same thing happens. A lot of times YouTube is still processing like the ads and stuff like that. So you may see my hands moving me shuffling cards but can't hear anything yet just refresh like give it like five minutes refresh and come back let's get into your reading boom let's do it all right leos let's go hey leos we got a lot of things coming okay this card jumped out so a cycle has fin it has ended um if you haven't had an opportunity to go watch friday's video which was uh which was uh entitled for everybody uh love and kiss please go watch that because i've run through the moon signs right and like what nurtures you and what the moon is about and that kind of thing and then also don't forget to watch the three month prediction video as well so you'll see uh, what's coming up so thank you all for supporting uh the videos i really appreciate that we're going to get right into this video this is your sunday reading this video is this reading is for the 16th of october through the 31st of october i'm telling everybody that i'm slow walking october on purpose because we have a solar eclipse coming up and so solar eclipse like a lunar eclipse no joke right so we'll talk a little bit about that but on the 17th of this month, we it kicks off the last quarter moon in Cancer. So that's why I put up that pre-video on like preparing for the last quarter moon entitled uh, Love and Kiss um, on Friday, I believe it was. I believe it was Friday. So let's get into it. Let's get into your reading. Let's get into your reading. See what your cards have to say. See what you uh, have coming up. I see a breakthrough for somebody. This is nice. Okay. I see a breakthrough. Breakthrough. Breakthroughs are nice. All right, this is very nice. This is very, very nice. So, all right, Leos, look. So it looks like somebody has given away an enormous amount of their power. Um, like you may have stayed in a situation for far too long, given away a lot of your power and finally decided, hey, I need to move on from something. Like I really, really need to move on from something. Somebody could be expecting, but this is more or less like, okay, so if you're pregnant, then you know congratulations either way whether you're pregnant with child or pregnant with a new project that's coming out or a new book or record or you know did i say record <laughs> am i dating myself or do they call them records anymore leo i don't know anyway y'all know a new song okay a new project anyway so whatever a, a new something coming up it could even be a new job or something but somebody is entering into a season of abundance, right? So the abundance could be somebody is with child or you know somebody with child or you could have impregnated somebody. But what I'm seeing for you is that somebody is feeling liberated and free, you know, from a situation. It's just, it's just like really, really funny how God allows things to happen to free us from a situation so that we can move forward. Like, if, especially if it was like a tricky situation where somebody may have felt emotionally smothered or trapped and just kind of sort of something happens. It's like, okay, baby is here, right? So now, now my time is busy. I don't have time to entertain certain things anymore. But I do see somebody getting back on their throne, right? I see somebody getting back on their throne and... Um, putting your any low vibrating emotions under lock and key. And the reason I'm talking about low vibrating emotions is because this, so we're moving into, um, we're currently now in Libra season, but we're moving into Scorpio season on the 23rd of this month, right? So Scorpio season, if you land on the bright side, and then, and then we have the, the moon in Scorpio on the 25th, which is the same day as the solar eclipse. If you land on the bright side of the moon in Scorpio, you're going to be feeling more imaginative, more determined, more ambitious, more emotional, but in a good way and also idealistic. But if you land on the dark side of the moon, you're going to feel more obstinate, secretive, jealous, resentful, and domineering, right? The reason why I'm sharing this when I talk about these moon phases and kind of walking it slow for everybody is because you will, you will be able to know in your personal life and in your professional life what side of the moon other people landed on right and so because you'll be keenly aware that certain things don't nurture you by the moon in cancer right 
So that's why I said, you know, in my Friday video, please sit down and put together your list of things that really, really nurture you because for you, people projecting their hurt and anger and frustration, believe it or not, you know, some people don't even some people don't even know what nurtures them because they've been hurt for so long. They don't even know they don't even know what feels good. They're almost numb to things, right? That's not where you want to be. Source is trying to tell you you're going to have a breakthrough. So whatever challenge you may have been going through for a while is coming to an end. That could be a challenging job. It could have been you were waiting on whatever you could have been waiting on. Some you were really somebody was really waiting on answers from source, and that's coming through very, very soon. So only you guys know what you've been waiting on to hear from source about. And um it, it could be devastating for somebody. It could be devastating for um because when you're when you're going through your when you're going through a um, the marking the beginning of abundance, on the other end, somebody's going to feel like they lost something. And how they handle it, you'll know whether they landed on a bright side or the dark side um, of the moon. But I see for you, something has like God had to step in and end something, right? So, so that somebody feels free from something. So... Yeah, something has ended. A cycle has ended. It could have been a job. It could have been a friendship. It could have been a romantic relationship. But it's like I said, God is in something. So here we have the moon card. This is where you want to make sure these dark thoughts about something, the trickiness about something. This, especially if, especially if someone is with child, you want to keep the stress level down. You definitely want to keep the stress level down, right? Instead of thinking like really, really dark thoughts about something not only that um this this solar eclipse so we know normally a solar eclipse is um it only occurs a few times a year and that's when the sun moon and earth are all aligned right but it's it usually happens around it happens on the new moon you know particular new moon because it only happens several times a year but it happens on a new moon but it's like a new moon like supercharged new moon right normally what i'm telling you all like new moon is your time to rest reset and manifest so because it's on a new moon in scorpio like i said that's why i said for some people you'll be able to tell how they handle this new moon energy are they going to become more creative more idealistic are they going to become what or, or are, are they going to end on the dark side of things right so you all are going to end up on the on the bright side of things like i said before the Scorpio moon for you all is going to emphasize your compelling personality, your vitality, your drive for success, right? So it affects every, it affects every element different. So you want to, this is right here is something you want to suppress. You want to be able to suppress that. Where's the card? The queen of swords. This would be the dark energy that you want to keep under lock and key, right? Under lock and key. You want to make sure, because again, very king, very queen energy, right? This is what you want to, especially if someone is uh, either uh, with child yourself or um, your father of somebody who's having a baby, you want to be able to control your emotions and also find very healthy ways of them learning how to control their emotions too and learning how to go with the flow of things. We're talking about water energy, cancer, and Scorpio. So yeah, go with the flow of things. So yeah, so like I said, something has ended and you're on the other side of things. Even if it's a friendship that's ended, that can be a real touchy kind of, you know, death in any form. If a friendship of many years has ended and it's just kind of a, you feel like you're walking around on eggshells, just end it, you know, wish somebody the best and so that you can just move on, right? Try to keep it as high vibrational as possible. Don't let the ugliness rear its, uh, this, its ugly head or try not to, right? Because like I said, God is going to make sure that something is over, completely over. We have the Wheel of Fortune. We also have the Devil card. We also have the Hang One. It's a major arcana it's here, the Five of Swords. Wow. Okay. Um, also the Knight of Swords, and then we have the Nine of Pentacles, right? Because this is where you're, you're headed towards. You're headed towards financial independence. You know what? It, it feels like looking at this, looking at this spread here, because again, God is trying to tell you to come up out of fight mode. You don't need to come up out of fight mode. 
there's, there's nothing bad is going to happen to you, you know, because you've ended something or actually because God actually ended it so that you can move forward. It was just not meant for some people to be in your life. And because you all are a really loyal sign, it was almost like it was, it was, it was over in dangerous territory. Like the ego was starting to take over. Like I can't walk away from this. And what if I'm, you know, what if I'm walking away too soon? Am I going to, you know, all this time I invested in this friendship or this romantic relationship or this job? God is like, listen, it's over. And I'm going to, I'm about to finish it. I'm about to finish it. Right. So, like I said, you want to get as far away from any uh, harsh words towards anybody or anything. You just, I mean, seriously, you want to keep it very classy at a high frequency because this will be released to you a lot sooner at a higher frequency, right? But somebody was chained to fear. Somebody was chained, this is a devil card, chained to doubt. What if I leave this too soon? Am I making the right decision, right? So you're, you are making the right decision. And if you don't make the decision, source is going to make it for you to make sure it's over, right? So just be patient with the whole process. You know, start believing in yourself again. Don't lose belief that this is what God is trying to send your way is financial independence. And keeping a very high vibrating, classy attitude towards moving on is going to get you to your money a lot sooner. And because I'm seeing expansion also in your cards. So for some of you all, as long as you keep your vibrations high and like not trying to hurt somebody, sometimes again, when you're in a ten of swords energy, sometimes we don't even realize we're hurting other people until we hear about it later. Right. So source is giving you an opportunity to expand whatever it is you're trying to expand. Some of you all are expanding your family because it's pregnancy, um, baby pregnancy, which is a gift, obviously, but also like expanding your brand or expanding, you know, your wallet, obviously, because we're looking at the nine of pentacles here. So keep your vibrations as high as possible. Please, please, pretty, please keep your vibrations positive keep that keep them high keep them as high as you possibly can right so yeah so we can make sure you manifest those things i talked about in the the three month prediction video yeah that's how you do it you know it, everybody you know hurts when something is over especially when you feel like okay i haven't blocked that person's number you know I, they haven't moved out of my house or i haven't moved out of their house or and god says okay we need to rip the band-aid off of this we need to rip the band-aid let's stop tiptoeing around it and let's just take care of this thing so i can get you to where you've been praying what you've been praying for so i do see somebody healing themselves like nurturing themselves inspiring themselves healing all those dark spaces right you know allowing your star to shine bright within your universe and that's going to be very inspirational and healing for somebody right so uh that star card is attached to aquarius so maybe there is an aquarius somewhere in the mist their energy is very healing for you or you could have aquarius in your chart and you're just kind of sort of remember aquarius is ruling planet or one of their ruling planets is um is um Uranus, but the other one is Saturn. So this right here lets me know Saturn lets me know that something is complete, but you'll also be healing yourself or inspiring yourself or speaking to your highest self. That is why and hopefully somebody understands how this is working. This, this last quarter moon and finishing out strong, you know exactly what nurtures you, not kind of about what nurtures you, but exactly what nurtures you so that when you walk away from something, you can you can walk away from it in a very classy way, not hurting somebody like somebody wasted your time and, you know, somebody was playing games or whatever. You just, just simply, you know, this, this doesn't work for me, right? It doesn't work. The star card came out again. That's also Aquarius. This is, again, somebody inspiring themselves, healing yourselves, right? Healing those dark spaces, you know, within yourself after something has ended, Right? So again, you may have an Aquarius in your life that's inspiring you and helping you to heal, you know, those dark spaces, maybe offering some kind of encouragement or kind words or something like that, because it came out twice. So an Aquarius has some role in this, you know, you moving on from something. So let's see what else we have going on here. Leos, let's see what else we got going on here. Leos. Yes. Leos, Leos, Leos. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Yeah, nothing will come of this situation. So here's the thing. When, so when we talk about nothing will come of the situation, we're talking about if we don't keep this at a high frequency. If we don't keep this at a high frequency, it's going to be like somebody's going to feel like, okay, that's why, where's this card? That's why this, be patient with the whole process. 
be patient because that's what's going to feel like for somebody it's like what is this I, I just feel like i'm like i'm this, this right here represents a transition it may not be transitioning as fast as somebody wants it to transition but god is really trying to help somebody work on their patience because things are moving around for you to be in this position right here financial independence so again Whoever is around you in your space that's speaking to your highest frequency, that's helping to inspire you during this time, you just want to take your time and heal. You just really want to take your time and heal. It's like waiting for a baby to be born. You don't find out you're pregnant one day and next day you give birth. I mean, that may have happened, you know, something, you know, but you, you know what I'm saying? Like you, you have to give it some time to go through the process and the, you know, and all of that. And so it's the same thing with something else that's been growing inside of somebody you're about to give birth and release something right into the into the earth right some kind of gift or um whether it's a, like i said whether it's a human gift or whether it is a project or something like that that somebody's been working on so congratulations on whatever gift someone has um but this this transition for somebody will be one of just now i won't say testing your patience necessarily it's just more or less you learning your journey going towards your your financial independence i always also feel like god has been telling somebody for quite some time that that something is over that something has ended and you know like i, I don't know if i've said this to you guys before leos like we really cannot fool god even if 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 god said i need you to go ahead and end a situation completely like block their number um, block their email address. You don't have to be angry with them. You don't have to wait for some big blow up explosion. It's just about their energy, not nurturing your universe. And it's more of a distraction than anything. So that's why when you leave a situation, when, when you block them, finally block the number, some of you all have ended a situation maybe years ago and never blocked the number, never blocked the email address and never, and wondering why they keep popping up in your spirit. Some of you all may still be in a situation where you, God has been telling you, this isn't it. Whatever the case may be, God is going to close it out. God is going to close it out. And like I said, on the other side of it, you'll have some time to really think about getting your power back. This is right here. Somebody's giving away an enormous amount of power and intellect. It's just like your, your, your loyalty was like, over loyal to somebody like just over over giving to somebody right where it may not have been reciprocated that's the part that'll make somebody have some dark thoughts like as as loyal as i was to you i couldn't get that same loyalty in return don't even think like that because god is coming in on the back end and making sure you're very wealthy and stepping into your marking the beginning of your abundance and it's not just a season of abundance it's you're marking the beginning of your life being abundant so that's what I'm saying. So you don't even have to say after I've been so loyal to you in our friendship or loyal to you in our relationship, you know, you do this. You just say, you know what? You just gave me the sword or the scissors to cut you out of my universe. Goodbye. Door closed. Double bolted lock. I'm going on about my business. I'm going on about my life. So um, because you all are very caring and because you all are very optimistic sign, you all are natural leaders. You all are kind and protective and, um, you know, vivacious and, and all those wonderful things. I always say passionate. You all are warm hearted and cheerful and humorous. For some of you all, like I said before, we, we cannot get away from God's voice. If God told you to leave a situation a long time ago and completely end that and you were still holding on to it and God is saying, I'm trying to bless you on the back end of all of this. You, you're going to have to be patient with your healing process and learn how to nurture yourself through this on your journey to financial independence. So that's what I'm seeing for somebody. That is what I'm seeing for somebody. Let's see what else we have here before you close out your reading. Let's see what else we have here before we close out your reading. Clean your space. That's right. If somebody's leaving your house, make sure you do a deep cleaning of your house. If they're leaving your life, make sure you do a deep cleaning of your um, your universe either way. Sometimes that looks like detoxing. That take like, you know, drinking lots of water or some kind of detox method or whatever. Listening to high vibrational music to get their spirit out of your system, like their energy out of your system. But again, very high vibration, very uh, um, healing methods to just remove a situation from your, you know, from your, um, from your, 
universe. 44, I am supported. That's what I'm telling you. Look at all this support from your ancestors. You are supported. You're not only supported by your ancestors, but you're also supported by earth angels as well. Your angels are encouraging you to continue on your present path with diligence and determination, and even greater success will come in the future. See? That's where this comes in. Even greater success will come in the future. More money. That's like, you know, that's like uh, a person and their spouse, you know, having a baby or whatever. And people feel somehow like, like your person, like, you know, is taking you away from your friends. Like taking you away from your, your male friends or your female friends or whatever the case may be. And they just start acting crazy. You may have to make some decisions, you know, have to make some decisions. And so if God told you who to cut out of your life and you haven't done it, God is about to close it out for you. Let's see if we got a, um, let's get one of these affirmation cards so we can go ahead and close it out. Let's get an affirmation card so we can close this out. Let's get an affirmation card so we can close this out. Yeah. Oops. Okay. This was, let me put this over here because that was just a, um, like a cover card. It wasn't an affirmation card. Let's see. Let's see. All right. Confidence. That's right. Confidence. Affirmations for confidence. Me, I matter. I am kind. I act in spite of fear. I keep the promises I make to myself. My voice matters. Someone needs to hear it. My tribe wants to see me succeed. I allow doubt to float away with ease. That's it. That's it, Leos. I'm telling you, let God just do it. And just like the water in Cancer, this last quarter moon in Cancer, and then the new moon in, in uh, Scorpio, both of those are water signs. I need you all to float with the water. Just go with the flow of the water. This is not where I need you all to be rigid and let dark thoughts come in because that'll be that new moon in Scorpio. And a bit right before that, on the 23rd, I want to say we on the 23rd, we float into uh, Scorpio season. But don't let those thoughts get so dark where you just feel like, you know what? I'm going to push myself further away from this. And so I can't even enjoy the gift that I'm bringing forth, right? So don't, don't allow your thoughts to go there. So that's what I have for you, Leos. Thank you so much for joining me. I will see you all on Monday. Bye.